Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute. Um, I moved back from Ridgecrest, California, where I was, back to San Diego because stuff was not going somewhere out there. Um, like YouTube was doing good, things like that, but I wasn't able to find other employment out there. Hub wasn't either. We were having a lot of problems. Marital wise, everything was gravy nail, and so we um, came back to San Diego, which is where I am now. So it's been a minute. I'm um, trying to find some stabilization out here, but I am back here. Um, we um, actually, it's been kind of rough because we downgraded it, you know, because we were in the desert and rent is so cheap there we downgraded from a three bedroom to a studio basically so i had to think we had to figure out how we're gonna you know do stuff such as recording videos such as my doing youtube so this is the situation as it is right now um i am very happy to be back here i'm working i'm back um doing the cooking chefing prep cooking, dishwashing, all that stuff I was doing before. And so, since I knew that, like, as soon as I got settled, I was going to start making videos again, I decided to make a video, honey. Okay, hunty? So today, um, because, you know, like, even when I had coinage, I've never actually, like, tried anything from Mr. Star himself. And he did a collaboration with Morphe, a palette. Um, Cause you know Jeffrey's palettes are usually like fifty, sixty dollars. Um, and uh, your girl wasn't even when I, you know, had the coinage. Like I'd be trying to be frugal, so your girl wasn't trying to spend that on no makeup palette. But because he did the collab, and I'm back home now in Dago, and you know. Right next to an Ulta, I, I couldn't resist no more. Um, he did this Morphe X Jeffree Star palette, um, which it looks like this. And this is the back, Mr. Star with his fabulous self. But anyway, yeah, I went ahead and did this explosion. This palette um, cost $35, I believe. Yeah, I just came from Alta. So $35 for the palette. And then, you know, packaging, even for, you know, for Jeffrey, is on point. Pink everything. And then it came in the plastica, the bubbles, which you would expect no next less. And it looks like this. And then you open it up. And there's a, you know, there's film. And then you have the lady palette. Now. I'm not about to swatch this palette, and if I do, I'll just insert uh, the clips because I'm probably going to do that. But look at those colors, honey. Look at that. And so, apparently, this is the same formula he uses with his regular, you know, um, stuff that he does on his own outside of Morphe. And like I said, I've never even got to try Jeffrey products, so we're going to try it today. I don't know what kind of look I'm going to come up with, but I'm going to try to do something. Jeffree Star approved and then on top of that he also came out with this little Morphe X Jeffree Star um, five piece mini lip collection and I actually wanted the other one because <laughs> um, it has unicorn blood in it and red rum which I really really want those two colors because I tried them on when I was inside Ulta but they didn't have it and then I went to order online and told me it was at the store Long story short, got to the store. They didn't have it. It's sold out, which I would expect no less from Mr. Star. So I just went ahead because I wanted to get this video filmed and up. Um, and I got the Iconic Nudes, which I'm excited about this one too because um, there's a shade in here that Jacqueline Hill always talks about and some other YouTubers called uh, Mannequin, which I've always wanted to try. But like I said... I can't bust out no $22 or, you know, Jeffree Star prices for no one little lip gloss. So I'm glad I get to, like, 
try it all in a mini. And so they look like that. These are actually will go ahead and just swatch on my arm. They're lip glosses, so I don't know. I think that they, most of them are lip uh, glosses. Or no, two of them are glosses and then three of them are the actual things. So this is the lip gloss. This is called Slurp, and I think I'm going to end up using this one today because um, it's really shimmery. So let's see how we're going to do this. You know, that, guys, no, I'm always so horrible at this. Ooh, that's really, really, ooh, yes, that's going on me, honey. Look at that. Look at that. Slurp. And then we have first impressions. This just looks like gloss, honestly, which I think it is. So I'm pretty sure this is not about to have no kind of color, but here we go. Yeah, it's just gloss. that that uh slurp for you guys again oh, that that's what the, that's what this that that's with it that is with it and that's going on my face today i know that i don't know which one of these other things i'm gonna put on probably mannequin but uh yeah that slaps that slaps so this one is star crown That's a cute little moment. Oh, that's a cute little moment. That kind of reminds me of, um, I haven't put it on my lips yet, of course, so I'm pretty sure the formula is going to be better than NYX, but it kind of color-wise reminds me of NYX Butter Gloss. Um, it's shade that I wear all the time. I think it's called like Pecan or something to that effect, which I'm out of it. And I actually should have looked for that while I was out, but I forgot until just now. This shade is called... Leo, my brother's a Leo. So, pop her over here. Oh, that's pretty. Leo, that's pretty. So I'm like, I don't know. It's gonna be between Leo and Mannequin Man, but I'm leaning more towards Leo because you know, I'm a brown skin girl. And this one is Mannequin, which I've been trying to try along with Unicorn Blood and Red Rum. Which I will be going back for that. And this is Mannequin. Mannequin. Yeah. So for this video, I'm probably going to end up using, I don't know, I really like that one. So I'm probably going to end up using Leo. Which is crazy because I'm not a Leo, but I'm going to use it. Um, but anyways. One to the, the eyes. Now, like I said, if I swatch those colors, I'm probably just going to swatch them differently because I don't want to sit here and do that. I also got this new, um, well, it's not new. I don't think this is new as far as ColourPop is concerned, but it's new to me. It's Flying Minds and Mascara Beat ColourPop BFF in black because I needed, I wanted a new mascara to try because I've been loving L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I'm not going to lie. That's my jam. But sometimes you got to switch stuff up to see, you know, if other stuff works and give other products a chance. I also bought some of this because I've been hearing everybody from Kylie Jenner to um, my my favorite, well, my one of my favorite YouTubers, Sue Petit Sue, like talk about this stuff. So I wanted to try it because ain't nobody, you know, giving you all those rave reviews in your trash. So I went ahead and I bought, like, a sampler of Mario Badesco skincare. And I asked the lady inside, you know, inside Ulta which one was her favorite because they had the three different ones. This is the one I see the most often, but I wanted to know, you know, which one was the bomb. And apparently this one's the business because she said, you know, this one, and this was Mario Badesco Skincare Facial Spray with Aloe, Cucumber, and Green Tea. So we're going to 
give her a whirl today. We're going to give this ColourPop mascara a whirl. Because um, y'all know I've been stuck on um, my Evian uh, facial spray and my Too Faced. And sometimes, you know, sometimes you got to change it up. So that's what we're doing today. I'm, gonna, I'm, ch I'm trying some new things. You can't always be one dimensional. So I'm being different today. I'm being a brand new person just for today. Now we'll see if I like this stuff and if it holds up this makeup. The truth is I ain't going to learn a single place. I'm just going to play with my face as big as I can. <laughs> and because I have the house to myself. Um, also, I'm going to put this on my face right now. I found this actually at a 99 cent only store. I'm obsessed ever since Jackie because I watched Jackie Ina like and I watched, you know, a lot of her facial routines and how she always was, like, going on and on about hyaluronic acid. And, like, now how it's popping it's hyaluronic acid. That's been my jam. After my face wash, I actually washed my face um, earlier. And then I, I, like, retouched it up once I came back from the store. Because I literally just came back from the store, uh, washed my face, and sat down at the camera, basically. So I am going to try this. This is actually for night repair, but I want to try it right now um because i'm me and i never do things the way they're supposed to be done but i love hyaluronic acid and i have my other that other hyaluronic acid that i had before and the collagen i still have both of those they're up on my makeup cabinet um but i wanted to give this a try it's called creme de skin solutions double strength retinol night repair serum for flawless younger and perfect a carefully formulated blend of ingredients to address the most common concerns of aging and support the skin's natural exfoliation process. So we're going to try her out. Now the directions say to apply several drops and spread all over a cleansed face and throat. So I'm going to do that right now before I even get into the makeup. Let that sit on my face and dry. So here, 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 here. That should be enough. But I love anything that says that it has retinol in it because, you know, I don't look, no, I don't think like I look just hella my age. Most of the time I'm 34 and most of the time like, you know, do I look like do people, with people, yes, I'm 34, no. A lot of times people don't even believe me when I tell them how old I am. So I know that like, like, you know. I'm not showing signs of like aging. They sent maybe like a few gray hairs here and there. And I think that's mostly due to her. She's dressing the hell out. <laughs> and the cat maybe. But and bills in life. But um I love anything with retinol in it because I know retinol is gonna suck it up, okay? I had this other um night stuff that I use, I can't remember the name of it, and I got that from like a cheap store too. But when I tell you, I used to roll that under my eyes and I, it has so much retinol in it. I could feel it like sucking whatever is sucking back up. And I like eventually I stopped using it because I don't like that feeling. But I was here for it. So um, I'm trying to debate if I'm going to do my eyebrows on or off camera. I'm probably going to turn off the camera and do my eyebrows because I don't want to make you guys sit through a super long video. The starts going to be long enough as it is because, of course, you know, when I'm running my mouth, honey, it's going to be a long video. Plus, I haven't done one in a while. I'm liking being back in front of the camera. And I'm here for it. So, um, yeah, what I'm going to do is I am going to turn the camera off. I'm going to do my eyebrows. And then I am going to get into this palette honey so without uh i'll see you in the next clip okay so i turned the camera on quickly because i just wanted to show you guys something new that i'm using on my eyebrows i'm not actually done with them all i do right now is just fill them in that's the same most regular schmegular jam with this uh brown liner and then my Ardell Brow Brilliant Fiber Gel. That hasn't changed. But something new that I have started using and I love it to death is this Elf um, Wax. It is so, it's wax. Like it's a little wax pen, pencil thing. So you can really 
glue them down. I am in love with this little gadget right here. And I have started using this e.l.f. Um, clear gel, the little nozzle is way thinner so I can get in there. So I usually, um, the process is I fill them in and, and I got my eyebrows done since I've been back because they was, I was keeping it together, you know, in Ridge Crest, but I got them done in reshades. And actually the lady at the shop kind of messed them up because she like, well, you guys can't see it because I filled it in now on this side. She took like this whole side of my brow, which if you look, you know, before in the beginning of the video, there's like a whole bunch of hair misses. She did it wrong. So I basically like just wax them bad boys down at this point. And then I use this to go in there like really fine because it's little to spread them out. And especially like in the front part because it, it kind of like, it doesn't take the, all the product off, but when I want to do it in the front because it's it's got it's wet, it takes off some of the project in the front so that it doesn't look so harsh if it's looking harsh. But yeah, those two things have newly been added. I just wanted to turn the camera on real quick, let you know that. And I actually am trying a new concealer. It's Super Stay Bitter Skin Concealer Corrector, and it's acrylic and it's oil free from Maybelline. So I'm gonna clean them up with this and then I just wanted to come on turn it back on just to let you guys you know see these new three things added to my brow products that I'm in love with but other than that I'm gonna finish my brows right now I'll be right back okay <laughs> so you know it's been a long time when it takes you extra the time I used to take you to do your brows um so yeah the, and then I forgot to tell you guys the color of the super stay bitter skin it's in the color deep 60 so i've been really rocking with this one i still have my um maybelline fit me is this maybelline fit me i think it's maybelline fit me um concealer in this one is in the shade 50 i mean i have another shade but i don't really use that one that much um also since i'm about to do my eyes i am going to try this for the first time so i guess a lot of the stuff i'm gonna use today you know jeffree star included is new stuff um but some of it is like regular schmegulars but this is one of the new things i'm using this actually for the first time i have not used this since i bought it it's elf um primer it's really white so um whatever color it jacket i'm not worried about like color payoff from Jeffrey. <laughs> I shouldn't say it's so cocky, but I'm not. But I'm going to put this on anyway just for GP. So I'm going to do that. Now let me get a mirror. I'm just using my little Too Faced palette uh, for mirror purposes only. I'm going to slather this on my eyes. I've used like concealers that are my skin tone to do this before, but I've never actually used a white primer, so this is about to be a first. And we'll see. And the crazy part is I've had a um, primer this color for a minute now, um, probably for like at least six months. And I know that guy's in here somewhere because I saw, I saw it. I also, I'm not going to use these lip products today because we're doing Jeffree lips today for sure. But I also found these Love Junkie um, Cosmetics Liquid Lip Paint. And for my, because I work now, I'm in the kitchen. So I don't do all this makeup, you know, on a daily basis. I might do my eyebrows and uh, even my eyebrows, like I don't fill them in. I just um, do the brush up with my natural eyebrows and wax my natural eyebrows and praise I don't put any product on them because I'm in the kitchen I'm sweating I you know I know that it's gonna come off anyway so I don't even bother um, but with this one um, but with lips I still you know wear my mats and I love because I mats, you know, work in the kitchen. And then if anything, like I just take a, I don't even have to take the actual matte lipstick with me. I just have to put like a, um, a little chapstick or something in my pocket 
in my work pants and that's how I like hydrate it all day and it stays all day but I've been really loving this um, matte liquid lip paint from Love Junkie I found this at a dollar store and this one is in the color uh, let's see it's called oh I remember now it's called keep the beat I bought them like in bulk no lie because I bought one and then I wore it to work and I was like, oh no, like this must stay. So I went ahead and I went back and I bought a whole grip of them, which they were just saying here, but because I'm all over the place right now, I can't find them. And then also like body spray wise, I got this coconut oil and sea salt. When I bought this, I told my husband, I was like, this smells so good. And he smelled it. And he was like, it's just perfume. Like, it's just regular, schmegular, whatever. Like, it's not that special. And then, you know, I took a shower one night. We were going on a date. I took a shower. Um, and I have, like, this coconut body scrub. Put this on. I have to go back and buy, like, all of these from the store. Because my husband... All that stuff he talked. He went nuts when I had this on. He, like, would not stop touching me. He wanted to sniff me. He, <coughs> he was very all, like, <coughs> lovey-dovey. Excuse me. So, yeah. That's been bought in bulk, too, because Hubs likes it. See, here's the other two. Like I said, I bought them in bulk. I also bought some other colors. Like, there's a red one that I bought. Um, I went to church last week. I wore it to church. So I think it's in the car. But I'm not, that one I'm not so much here for. It's got too much glitter in it. But for Christmas time, because I'm thinking that's only appropriate time for green, I want to try this one, which is Steal the Show. So maybe I'll do a Christmas look around Christmas time and this will be incorporated. Because I love a good bold, y'all. I love a good bold. But anyways, back to my eyes. I'm just going to wet this beauty blender and I'm ghetto in it because I don't feel like getting up going to the bathroom even though my bathroom is literally right there. I mean, but I have to do my whole setup and all that and I'm not going to do that because like I said, I told y'all I'm in the studio now so uh, moving stuff is like going to the bathroom and stuff in the house. So when I was at the other house, there was like a bathroom attack. I'm just going to blend this out. There was like a bathroom attached to what was my office studio slash guest room. <laughs> um, so it wasn't that much of a hassle, but I'm not going to do that because I have to move this whole situation. And it's so ghetto. I'm not even going to show you guys on camera how I've got this uh, rigged up. I'm actually not even using the wet part. I don't even know why I wet it for because I'm using the part that's dry. Which may be against the point, but we're going to try it out. Because like I said, I don't even feel like I actually need this. I'm just doing it. Because I don't feel like Jeffrey is going to disappoint. Let me put a little more. As far as pigment, that's not his, you know. That ain't his game. He's not. I don't. I don't have no belts in Jeffrey. <laughs> I should just make a whole thing in Jeffrey dress. Cause that's what I sound like right now. I'm actually not liking this because it's not. Y'all tell me what y'all think because it doesn't seem like even you know with the buns being wet or dry. It doesn't seem like it's like drying correctly on my legs. Like it's real cakey and like crusty and it keeps crusting up. And that was before I uh hit it with the sponge. So I don't know about that. I might end up just going and fixing it. But let me get this palette cracking, honey. So like I told you guys, we have, I'm just going to read you the, the colors. I wouldn't, I'm, I'm not going to swatch them. If you want to see the swatches, you can actually go on Jericho's channel and, you know, he doesn't swatch them for you and um, 
I'm sure there's other makeup reviews because I'm hella late even with this, even though it's only a couple weeks. But the top row is as follows. Welcome back to my channel, Juan Noise. Only Jeffrey, only Jeffrey. And then there's Lynn, 1985, mogul, self-made, dog mom, and honest truth on the second row. <laughs> Designer label, Mr. Diva, Los Angeles, pink, pink feet, Calabasas, don't know her. Oh my god, that don't know her is so pretty. I'm probably definitely going to put that on. Look at that. Don't know her. That's a pretty pink. Um, That's on the third row. Then the fourth row is Rolls With It, which is a very beautiful goal. Millions, which I'm not going to lie. I want to play with this. Let's see. Millions, which is this color right there. That's one. Let's see. Because you guys, like I said, you guys know I'm horrible at swatches anyway. Jeffrey did a way better job than I can ever do. Yeah, her I want to play with. And then, what do we have? We have, girl, what's the T? Vroom, vroom, and custom rim which looks just like that gold one I just swatched but like the silver version and then on the bottom we have Glad Rapid, Wake and Bake which is really pretty like limey green and then Nate uh, I think that's his, yeah that's his boyfriend's name which is green and he probably because they smoke so much or whatever uh, chose it for that color but I don't know, you have to watch Jeffrey's video to find all that out then there's Drive Through High Dude and this really um which I'm glad is in here. I never really see a lot of blacks in palettes. This one right here, which is called Fast Lane. I don't too much do a lot with blacks unless I'm like doing a smoky eye and I have to be real careful because my eyes get crazy real fast when I start messing with black. So, uh, I'm basically just going to create a look. I'm going to turn off the camera. Um, and then I will recreate it on the other side once I come back on camera. Like I said, I don't want to make you guys sit through a horribly long video and I just sat down and started filming it. I have no idea what I'm about to do. And if I keep you guys on, this is going to be a long video. So I will be right back. All right. So, you know, your girl's indecisive. If you know me, you know that. Change of plans. I'm going to do create the look on one eye and then I will turn off the camera and do the other thing on the inside. It seems like it would fare better that way. So um, I think I figured out in that like two seconds that I turned the camera off what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into this pinky shade first. This uh, like it's like um, mauve I don't know whether, how other way to explain it. This right here mauve I'm going to dip in her and I'm going to take that and just start Building the crease, baby. Oh, 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 Jeffrey. I barely, and when I say barely, I mean I barely dip into that. Like, barely. Did y'all see all that? Did you see all that? This camera is not even doing it justice. This is why I need a better camera in my life. And I actually have one. I just need to get a situation for it. Like, it needs a, um, I need batteries for it, basically. It's kind of crazy because one camera, I have two of them because I bought them with the intention of vlogging. And then one for the intention when I had the studio set up for just to stay with the studio and I was going to get some studio lights. Um, this video right now, we're working on sunlight, honey, so. I'm, I'm doing the best. Like I already know that that the camera that I'm working with right now is not even doing justice to what is going on with my face and this pigment and this color, honey. Okay, so um, yeah, I bought two cameras. Basically, one of them I bought um, the one that was supposed to be stationary. I bought a like a stationary battery pack where like you plug it up in there. That looked really long. Well. You plug it up in the camera and then you can connect to the court and it keeps running. Problem with that camera is I need to go get um, 
card spread, memory cards, because it doesn't hold memory, work, nothing. Then I have another camera, um, which I was going to use for vlogging, that I have a whole bunch of SD cards, but it won't hold like batteries for nothing. So I'm like kind of in a screw position because, um, and I need to get the other camera working or find whatever batteries is going to, which is probably like, because even like I bought Duracell's the most expensive battery brands and like it gave me maybe 20 minutes worth of power and then the camera was dead. So I don't know if it was just not a quality camera or what to do, like what the situation is, but I'm just basically like over it for right now. So I'm using my computer, I'm using my phone, I'm about to purchase an I, a new, I, actually iPhone. I was, I did have an iPhone and then I switched back to Android because my iPhone broke and I didn't want to pay for a new one because I was being cheap. So I just went back to Android um, and I have had an Android ever since. It's been going on like two years now, but I am about to go back to my iPhone way. So that I don't know. I think I might just be filming the videos for a while on uh, the iPhone and the camera and probably just getting some studio lights, like little portable ones like I've been wanting to do anyway since now I'm not even in my office anymore until we get situated enough to move out of here, which probably won't be for a while. Um, next, I'm going to go into the shade. Oh. Self, no, I'm gonna do pink feet, which is this shade right here. I'm just gonna take it a little bit because now I know what Jeffrey's twerking with, and uh, it's pigment, honey. It's pigment. Wow. Um, so and I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna go just mix that in, and I'm just doing that for depth basically and covering in the rest of the eyelid. I don't know what it is with me. Like, I don't be trying to do pink looks and then I always end up with the pink. I promise. Like, this is why for a long time, like, I would not buy a lot of palettes. Like, now I have palettes of the wazoo from two, most of them are Too Faced and then um, I think I have like almost I won't say almost all of them, but I have a good majority Too Faced products because that was my first little makeup hit. Because you, you know when you break your like eyeshadow makeup virginity and you buy your first palette, that was my virginity breaker of palettes and I've stuck with it ever since. And you know, I've just gotten worse. Problems just gotten worse. So, uh, but while crazy with Too Faced, but this is why like I would never try anything else because even in those Too Faced palettes, like Too Faced has a lot of the same like chocolatey colors or like the bright colors are the same, but I'll always end up, I promise, with like a pink or a purple look. So I was like, I'm not going to pay money for a palette because when it comes down to it, I always end up with pink or purple on. Always, always, always. And this is about to be no different. But I'm not going to lie. This is not the last time you finna see this palette on my channel. I'm a frugal girl, like I told you. Um, I really love uh, Jeffrey watching his videos and stuff. I've been following him for a while. And for me to like even do it, you know, be busting down Ulta trying to find <laughs> this palette, even with it being, you know, a kind of a bargain. Oh no, y'all are finna see this palette a lot. I don't, until if I rock the pink looks and the pink looks is gone, then that will force me to use the other colors. But y'all are finna see a lot of different looks with this palette. I can tell you that right now. They're not all finna be in this video. Um, so, yeah. Let me let me do some more because I'm talking too much. So then, ooh, that's really pretty. I'm just going to go back in. I didn't put any more product on it this brush. I'm just trying to blend out this patchiness. And it's not from the palette. It's from the Elf. So I will not be using that no more. And it probably will be going in the trash after this video. Because I don't even think it w this will help with the pigment. Like, do you see that? This is pigmented out of this world. So what I'm going to do now is because I know that that was a flop. 
I am going to take what I usually use, which is my um, Maybelline Fit Me. And I'm going to cut my crease with that because I'm not going to play no whole games with this elf. And I don't want it to mess this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut my crease. Um, if you don't know how to cut a crease, I have another video where it tells you that for me. I have to like um, put it up here and then open my eye. And wherever it lands, because I have that crease fat right there, basically that's where she lands, and that's where I put it. So I'm, I'm gonna cut that crease, baby, as neat as I can. I actually need to get a actual tool. By tool, I mean brush, because I can never just say a word correctly. So I'm gonna get a brush. And I'm going to make that more precise. Then I am going to go in with um let's see with don't know her which is this sparkly shade right here that's what I want to play with I'm gonna go in with that. I don't top because it's dry now. And I don't even think I had to do that much flopping on my, oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, I see that. I don't even need it, but it works better than. That is. Heck a shimmery. Oh, Jeff. Am I going to have to start showing now 58 bucks now for you, Mr. Star? Because I'm loving it. That's so funny. I'm going to just go back in with that other running brush and I'm going to bring out the edges. So I'm going back in with mobile. Back in with mobile. Just to blend that all out. I'm going to do it with my smaller palette. So you guys can see my face because I realize you guys can't see a darn thing. So I'm just going in at the edges, making sure that nothing looks hard. And then I'm going to take a little tiny smudge more of uh, um, pink feet. I'm going to go on top of that just to bring that color back in there because I lost some of it. And we're going to take her right there too and just blend her. And go take her around the edges. Ooh, like that. Yeah, that's pretty. Kind of flip her out a little and move her out. Mm -hmm. I'm really 
really loving this. <laughs> so pretty. Now I'm going to take the face wipe, wipe all that excess stuff on the bottom of my eye. I should have put some powder but I don't have face makeup on yet. And that's why I didn't put face makeup on because I pretty much figured I can just clean it up. So I'm going to wipe it like so. That. And so now I'm going to turn off the camera and I'm going to do this on the other side and I'll be back. Okay, so that's done. Let that out. So what I'm gonna do lastly uh, on my on my top eyes because this is a lot of pink and I just want to try this out. Hopefully it'll work well and I won't regret it but I want a little shimmer shimmer of another color in there so I'm going to take two which is this pink shade right here and I'm going to dab some of that on top oh yes oh yes oh yes look at that do that on Side. Welcome back to do that same thing on the other side. Dip my finger now one more again. Do a little more. I'm so pretty. I like it. Ooh, I like that. I like it a lot. Let me wear my face off. And there's with that. Yay! Hey! Alright, so now I'm gonna throw on my face makeup and some lashes, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I haven't put the lashes on yet, but I put eyeliner on, I did my face makeup, all the same stuff Fenty Beauty 420, um, concealer, Tarte Shape Tape, and the shade Medium mixed with Maybelline New York Fit Me in the shade. 50 mix those two together. Um, bronzer was uh, Get Gorgeous Big Bronzer from Nobby. The powder that I used on my face, same old, same old, cover girl clean, uh, classic can. Um, powder, powder, new favorite of mine. It's been around for a long time, but I never used it and I just got into it and it's been my new bay is um Cody Airspun. I don't know where I just put it but that's what I used to set the little bit of contour that I did do so use that um blush 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 I use CoverGirl True Blend blend blush in the color uh Ruber just use a little bit of that highlighter um, my trusty trusty Miss Bible um, her BH Cosmetics highlight palette and that was it so now I'm going to and then I put uh, eyeliner for uh, when I'm gonna put the lashes I didn't do a wing but this is the double troop 
which I actually hate this one, but like this is the only one I can find. Double Troop Absolute New York Black. Now I'm finna bust open. I've uh, curled my eyelashes already. So now I'm going to bust open this ColourPop BFF Mascara in Black. So, um, I mean, I want you guys to have to sit for a super long video, but this is like makeup and hair. And I feel like, what the hell? Like, I haven't seen you guys for a while. You guys haven't seen me for a while. And that's that. So, let me open this up. I like the wand. I'm already liking the wand. It's reminding me of the L'Oreal, but I have a feeling it's nothing like the L'Oreal because if it was, why? There's this not top selling. Oh, I like that. It. Wow. Okay. I'm not mad at this. It was actually cheaper than the L'Oreal's. Uh, this is eight dollars price point. And what I like about these mascaras is from ColourPop is they have them in like every color. Uh, well, I won't say every color, but a lot of colors. I've seen a yellow one. Um, I actually was gonna like try to get down with that, but then I was like, what the hell am I gonna do <laughs> with the yellow uh, mascara? Maybe like because it's Halloween season, maybe. But yeah, that's just one coat on each, and um, that's looking good. So I'm gonna pop on some lashes. Let me see which lashes I'm actually gonna use. Um, hold on just a second. Okay, so I'm pretty much sure I'm going to use these Superpower lashes. They're just some little cheap lashes I got a long time ago. When I was telling you about the base that I usually use and I've had for a long time, is this Knickknack New York eyeshadow base. So next time, I will use this one. Um, on another note, contour in my face, I use this Profusion contour palette. It's got a lot of colors in here. I use this one, which is Java. Um, and then I also used the True Blend Contour Palette from CoverGirl. Um, this one is a bronzer, so I just used the contour shade, which I don't even know what that shade is. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know. But it said this one's the bronzer, and that's the highlighter. I didn't use either of those. I just stick to that middle shade. That's what I contoured with. So I'm going to pop these lashes on, and I will be right back. Okay, so lashes on. on. Now just lips. Oh, let me spray uh, with this Mario Badesco. Let me see if I like it. Oh, that smell really good. And on top of that, I'm gonna put old trusty Eddie on. And then we're just going to take a beauty sponge and we're going to blend because it makes it so stiff. So since I've been back here, I told you guys about my, my eyebrows shaped and then they mess it up. But I also straightened my hair, which you can tell. Um, it was just, my curls were getting to the point where I couldn't do nothing with them, plus I knew I needed them cut because I had it, I had straightened my hair, but when I straightened my hair before I left, I didn't cut it, I didn't trim it, I didn't do anything, I just straightened it, see how long it was, and then went right back to curling, which was not too smart on my part. So, this time... I got it straight in. Um, the girl that did it for me, she cut it. And we're just rocking it like this. For now, I was going to uh, do it on camera, my hair, but I'm not because it's going to take too long. Um, and I'm not going anywhere, just to be quite honest. So let me get into these lips now. So I am going to go with Leo. Then I'm going to put in again in the middle and then we're going to put some of that shimmer shimmer on there so 
first. Let me start with this guy. Let me get a mirror. Oh, because I need to dust up across everywhere. As you can see, my room right now. Man. So, I'm going to put... Uh, this is Leo. I'm going to take that all around the perimeter. Oh, that's a banger. I don't like the way this spills on my lips. My only concern with... Ooh, that looks good. Boy, stop, Jeffrey. The only thing that concerns me is because these are not mint. These are liquid lips. Is that I do like, I don't really wear lip, liquid lipstick a lot because of the fact, like, you know, if I eat or like I talk a lot or whatever, it to me comes off easier. So that's going to be something I have to use to. But I actually like the way this feels. So I'm going to take mannequin throw her in the middle After a little white moment gonna take slurp. <laughs> My husband always makes fun of me when I do that and we're gonna top just put her all around. I actually might keep her scented too because she'll go all around my girl. Oh my goodness that's gorgeous. Just pop it. Let's see what the craze is. All right, Jeffrey. I see you. You gonna make me have to cut out the pocket and buy this off the website. I see what you was doing. I see what you was doing. All right, guys. So that is pretty much it. Let me throw some more highlights on because I don't feel like I'm going to the gods. And we both know how I feel about that. So, actually, I'm going to take some reading. I'm going to have some reading somewhere. I'm going to make sure you're out here somewhere. Because I just saw her. There she is. I'm going to take some reading. And this is Trophy Wife. I broke it so it's all, you know, rude. I like this. I'm gonna hit that one time. I'm gonna take it on the other side. Same team, same team. Like, I like, I like, I like, I like. So, um, this palette is definitely genie approved. I love these colors. Like I said, y'all are going to be seeing this palette uh, a lot. But for $35, yeah, she was worth it. These lip, liquid lips, on point. 
my lips feel so good. It's so pretty. I love the shimmer. And, uh, yeah. That was all worth the coinage. Oh, the uh, ColourPop lashes and check the BFF Master in Black. That was one hint. Everything was just on hint today. And what else? Oh, and the Mario Badesco water. That actually feels really good on my face. So that's a banger. Everything just is a banger. And I will be, I probably most definitely will be purchasing this again because this is really good. Uh, mascara. I do need to try the actual Too Faced. Um, damn, girl. And then we'll see. But because I'm frugal and a mascara is a mascara is a mascara to me, especially like today. Like, I actually should have used this when I wasn't going to wear falsies, but you guys see what it did before I put the falsies on. So, yeah, for a bar, like, your girl is about a bargain. And this was a bargain. Like, this works. It was eight bucks. It actually is just like, there's, a, you know, like a slight difference between this and my L'Oreal, uh, Lash Paradise for eight bucks instead of the ten. Like when I'm trying to be frugal, I'll bust out eight for this any day. And that Mario Badesco water on point. Um, yeah, I might have to start <laughs> uh, heavily messing with Mr. Star though. And I know that I will be back. Um, I will be back in Ulta to get the sister i call it the sister to this one the other one that has unicorn blood and red rum in it because i really want to try those like i said i swatched those in the store and those looked good on your girl so i want it but other than that that's the end of this video thank you for watching thank you for taking out all this time because this is a really long video i'm probably not going to edit this video whatsoever um just put it up as is if I do edit it it's not going to take any time out whenever you do other things but yeah like uh thank you for sticking around for this and I'll see you in the next one make sure you like comment most importantly subscribe share it with your friends tell me what you think about this look and I'll see you in my next one bye guys